Hey everybody, it's Danielle here from DKW Styling and I wanted to share a curling video. I love curls and I love different techniques um, and I'm kind of loving this nice, soft, bouncy curl. Um, so I wanted to share with you guys how I achieve that look. Now, if you're new to my videos, I specialize in hair extensions and color. Um, so if you want to see uh, more information about me, click on the link below this video and it's going to take you directly to my blog where you can see some of my uh, tutorials, some of, a little bit of my fashion blogging, and you can also click on my gallery to see some of my work or my contact page if you're interested in having me work with you. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this tutorial. Um, I know a lot of you girls have probably seen those and wondered what the curl looks like when you're done, but I call it the vacuum curling iron. <laughs> um, it's called the Curl Secret, and this one is just by Conair. It's the Infinity Pro. Um, I actually just got this at Target. It was $99 and I just figured I'd give it a shot and see what kind of curl pattern it created. Um, and I'm also going to do a short tutorial or a demo on how you um, use the iron correctly and things like that. Now honestly, it, this curling iron is so easy to use, it would be hard to screw that up. <laughs> so how I did it is I, my hair is already curled. I of course finished curling it because I wanted to demo it or try it myself and make sure it was easy to use and I liked it and then kind of show you guys how you're going to go in and use it. Now I recommend, they say to comb out each section and I take about one inch sections. I'm going to start by prepping the hair with this smooth and uh, seal spray by Big Sexy and it's just kind of a heat protectant. I've already done this but again I just want to do a short tutorial for you guys to show you how to use this. Um, I was so worried it was gonna like eat my hair and then like explode and start on fire. <laughs> but it's dummy proof basically. So what you're gonna do is start with um, small, I would say about one inch sections. Now I wear hair extensions, so I'm kind of mixing some of my real hair with my hair extensions. Um, and then you, you, what you wanna do is have the little gripper facing up. You're gonna start at the base and all you're gonna do is put it right in between and then it, voila, it twists and it continues to wrap and then it'll stop twisting and it'll actually start to beep and you just hold it there until you hear like three or four beeps and then you let it out and it, there we go. And voila, you have this cute um, curl. The curl kind of reminds me similar to um, a wrap curl if you've used a wrap curling iron. Um, but sometimes those are, I feel like are hard to work, especially when you get around to the back. Um, I feel like if you're curling iron challenged or if you just want to try this curling iron, I think it works pretty well and I, it takes a little bit longer than my normal curl, um, but it's a little bit more curly so I'm thinking the curls will last a little bit longer. So if you're having a hard time getting your curl to stay um, or you just struggle with the curling iron or doing that wrap curl, this might be a good tool for you. So again, you can see I started the base and just kind of wrapped it in there. And I always, when I'm curling my hair, I section the top half off and start at the bottom and work my way up. Okay, it beeped. But yeah, you can see that's a cute curl. When I got completely done doing all of it, I kind of just ran my fingers through and then I like to polish my curls off with a little bit of an argan oil. This one's by AG. I showed it in one of my last videos I did. It's just an argan oil, it's called that oil. And then I usually put, you know, a little goes a long way, but just barely a dab and kind of polish your ends out. Um, and then go in through the top and kind of repeat the same steps throughout your hair, you know, grabbing small one inch sections. And again, I've kind of already done this, but I'm just repeating to show you guys. But I like how it kind of creates a really soft, bouncy curl. And there we go. So anyways, that is how you use, now if any of your curls are curling kind of funky, I'm not going to lie, whenever I'm using a wand or something, I always use, I have my uh, one inch, or this is a one and a quarter inch iron, I always have this one plugged in if I want to like smooth any pieces and just kind of around my face or if anything's curling a weird direction, but I think that turned out good. Um, I also do a little bit of fashion blogging, if you guys love this shirt, it's Kate Spade, I think I ordered it just online from Nordstrom's. Um, this necklace is really cute. I love that it's kind of a monogram necklace and I, I like this one because it's smaller. Um, well, some of the ones I've seen are too big, I feel like. And this one was from a company called My Name Necklace and so I thought that was kind of cute. Now if you're loving my lip color today, this is by MAC. It's a gloss. It's called Star Quality. It's kind of a corally color. 
but I'm kind of loving this color right now. I think it's really pretty and bright. Gives you a pop of color. So anyway, you guys, I just want to jump on and do a quick video. I love sharing uh, products, tips, techniques, um, and new irons or products that I'm trying. So again, this is the Secret Curl by Conair. I just purchased it at Target. I'm sure you could find it on Amazon or anywhere, but that's what it looks like. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching my videos. Um, if you want to see some of my other curling videos or just fashion tips or techniques or hair products or things like that I'm, that I'm loving, tune in to my YouTube channel, DKW Styling. Hit the subscribe button and also visit my blog by clicking on the link below this video and cruise through my gallery page and contact me if you want to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.